Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Windows Security Center service is turned off or missing in Windows 10 or Windows 11. So if you have any similar problem with Windows Security when it's not turning on or if the service is missing, then how you can fix it. I will be sharing few simple steps that you need to apply and after that I'm very sure that this Windows Security problem will be surely fixed. The first thing that you will have to do on your Windows 10 or 11 search box, you have to click on it, type here Windows Security and in the suggestion you will be getting Windows Security. Right click on it, then click on App Settings and then here you need to scroll down and you will find the option of Reset. Here you need to first click on Repair and then click on Reset. Once done, you have to close it. Now you will be getting to link in the description. You have to download this file that is WSCSVC. Okay. So both this link you will find in the description. You have to come here and then you have to download it. So click here on download and then download the WSCSVC 64 bit. So click download again. And once the file is downloaded, you have to open the folder. Now you need to copy both this file. Then you need to come to your desktop, paste it. Once pasted, you need to extract both these files because this will be downloaded in a zip file. So you have to make a right click on it, then click on extract all. Then you can choose the destination. So I will go with desktop only and then click on extract. So this one has been extracted. So I will again drag it to the screen on the desktop and I will also just extract the second one right click on it and choose extract all on desktop only and once extracted I can now delete these zip folders and I will only keep this downloaded file all right so once it's been extracted and in your desktop you have to open wscsvc.reg folder and here you'll find two different files one will be related to text document that contains the command and we have to run the second one so just double click on wscsvc file then click on run, click on yes, and then click yes again. Once done, you have to open the command folder. And here you'll find two different commands that you have to run. So for that, click on the search box again, type here CMD. You will be getting command prompt, right click on it and choose run as administrator. Then click on yes. The black window will be coming up. Now you have to copy the command from here. Select it, right click on it and choose copy. Come back to the black window of command prompt, right click and it will be automatically pasted. Then you have to hit the enter key and then you have to go with the second one. So copy the second path. Come to the black window, paste it, hit enter again. Once done, you have to close it and close this wscsvc.reg folder as well. Alright, so we are done with the first folder. Now you need to go with the WSCSVC 64 bit folder, open it. And here you will find this DLL file WSCSVC.dll. You need to just copy it by making a right click on it and choose copy. Then from the left in menu option only click on local disk C. Then go to windows. And here you have to look for syswow. Syswow 64. Once you get it, double click on it to open it and then you need to paste the file that you just copied. So right click on the blank space and just paste it. Click on continue and this will be now pasted. Now we are only remaining with the final step where you have to click on the search box again, type services, open the services app and in the services you have to look for Windows security, Windows security service. So come to the W section and then scroll down until you find Windows Security Service. Double click on it and make sure that this service is running. Okay, and if not, then you have to start the service. Right now you can see the status is running, so it's fine. But in case if it's not running, then you have to start it again. And in case if you don't see the option of start or the startup type and it's been grayed out, then what you will have to do, you need to restart the computer and after that try again and it will be surely restarted. So after restarting, check back again, restart your computer and I'm pretty sure that your problem will be surely fixed. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and still if you have any 
issues while restarting the service, opening Microsoft security, then let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.